so hi friends uh, in this video we are going to uh, discuss about the introduction of java what is the introduction of java and uh, next we are going to discuss about the futures of java what are all the uh, futures of java that is uh, platform independent open source multi thread running more secure portable so we are going to discuss it brief and uh, next uh, we are going to discuss what is meant by oops concept so that is object oriented programming structure what is meant by oops concept and next we are going to discuss um, how to install jdk that is a java version and um, i i have given here the link for that that uh, url link you can copy it and uh, paste it in your chrome browser so you can get that link i have used 1.8 vision i'll put this full notes in description you can download that right so next uh, this is the tool so this is the language uh, java language uh, in installation link and this is the tool that what we are where we can write our uh, program right so this help to uh, write the program right this tool helps to write the program so next we are going to see the to how to install this tool i am going to use uh, eclipse right so because uh, 75 percentage of people are using eclipse so i am going to use eclipse here there are a lot of version in eclipse and now there is some latter latest version also you can uh, search in google chrome but i am going to use eclipse uh, photon so the link is here so you can copy the link and you can download it why i am using some older version means that because it's a constant one there will not be any variation so there will not be any installation error and so i am using some constant versions right so first we are going to uh, discuss what is meant by java so java is a simple programming language uh, like c c plus plus java is a programming language we can write several program here by using java we can write uh, simple program right so in java uh, what is what is the best than uh, c and c++ means it's writing writing is very easy compilation and debugging debugging means uh, uh, step by step we can verify our uh, code right um, in uh, c and r after complete, completing program only we can able to verify right but in java we can able to verify it step by step we can uh, find the error uh, at that step itself okay so after execution also we can get uh, some error after company also we will get some exception but at that exact step itself we can able to find the uh, mistakes and also debugging also uh, available in java so java is uh, very easy to write the program okay so next it help to create reusable code okay so we, we will use some reusable code right so it will helps to use that art it, it will help what is the code we, the code is when we again 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 and again when we reuse that code means our program will be very big right so reusable reusable code will not be more in java uh, next uh, what are the futures of java and here we are going to discuss what are the futures of the java that first one is that is platform independent open source multi threading more secure and portable uh, so what is meant by platform independent so now we will see what is meant by platform independent platform independent means during the compilation during writing program um the java program convert it into byte code right we will write something like a b c like this only so like public uh, static or method name any method name or we will write a b c d like this we will write some uh, letters right so this letter will be changed into binary code byte byte code so byte code means nothing but zero one one zero zero one like that it will be changed so by like this if we change the uh, letters into code we can use this code in any other platform like use byte code use using byte code we can run the application to any platform any platform means like windows mac linux etc we can write this uh, code 
in any platform but in c and all if you write the uh, program means we can't able to uh, run that program in uh, mac if you write it the c program in windows means we can run only in windows platform also if you write the program in mac means we can run that program only in mac platform only but java is platform independent because it it convert the program into byte code so we can run the program in any other program any other platform right like uh, uh, if you write the program in windows means we can run it in macbook we can run it in linux platform also so this is platform independent next open source the cost is free right so free of cost so anyone can use this right there is no cost for this this is open source right so this is also one of the future of java and uh, next multi threading multi threading is very very important like multi threading means but in c and all if you write one program we can able to run that one program only but in java we can write several program at a time and we can run several program at the same time itself right like a tab uh, we will we can open the tab we can use multiple program and we can run it at at a time itself so this is also a future of java that is multi threading and next oh that is more secure so uh, if you write our code means someone uh, theft or some some because of some um, uh, security issues someone will hack our code right so in java there is a it provides the virtual firewall between the application and computer our application and computer it will build some security and by the security there it, it won't access any unauthorized unauthorized uh, access okay so it doesn't grant any unauthorized access so because of this um, the program is more secure okay so this is also a future of java and next portable portable um, uh, write once run anywhere if you write once means we can run anywhere any machine we don't need to write extra program for um, uh, windows extra program for mac so our program will not be very big it's very compact size so it's portable in size these are all the futures of uh, java so the first one is that is platform independent open source multi threading more secure portable okay so these are all the five futures of java and uh, next uh, oops concept what is mean by oops concept means object oriented programming structure okay that is oops is a method of implementation in which a programmer organizes as a collection of object class and method these three will be there without these three we can't able to run our program okay if you want to run the program these three will be there that is class object and method if these three will be there then the program is called object oriented program so java is a object oriented programming structure language right so next uh, this other than this there will be something extra in java that is uh, abstraction encapsulation inheritance and polymorphism don't be confused here because we are going to discuss this more in our upcoming videos i am going to discuss this more in upcoming videos okay just uh, remind this and next uh, i am going to tell you how to install uh, java there are a lot of versions i am going to use uh, 1.8 version because this is stable one see here latest version in java latest version in java see there are now it's uh, yeah see 18.0.2.1 but i am going to use uh, java 1.8 okay java 1.8 I'm going to use Java 1.8. Uh, before that, you can uh, check whether the Java is already installed in your PC or not. Uh, that is CROMPT, CMD, right? CROMPT, open CMD, right? So go to, I'm using Windows 7, go to search button and uh, just uh, write CMD, CROMPT, command CROMPT, sorry, 
c'est bien. C'est ça, c'est bien. Sorry, see I'm be right. <laughs> see I'm be right. So this, this is it, right? Here we can check whether uh, Java is already installed um, in your PC or not. How we can check means just write Java given space and given icon then version, right? So just I'm going to type Java space hyphen version. Sorry. Right. So now it will show the version of version, right? So here I see here I have installed 1.8, right? 1.8. So why I have in installed this older version means this is a stable one. If you want you can install the lat latest version also right so there is a link i gave the link for this version just copy this just copy this link just sorry just copy this link copy and just i'll give this link in a description don't worry you can copy this and just search this right so this is the version Java SE 8. So come here. So that is the, the that is a lot of files. So I'm using Windows. I'm using Windows that is uh, 64 bit. So I am going to use this one, right? If you are having MacBook means you download that file. If you are you are having 32 bit means you can download this file. I'm I'm using 64 bit I am the so I am going to use this file right so I'll click this so I'll click this if you click this means next uh, this window will open right just agree this and uh, then click this if you click this means that that will be one login process you need to log in here just to give your mail id and uh, username or password you need to sign up here or just you can create um, uh, create a oracle account create it create and uh, you can create a oracle account this is once need right you don't need to create it again and again i created already so i have that file right so i have that file i created already so i'll show it that. okay so here here right jdk 8202 windows 64 i have it and uh, you can go and see the property it's around uh, 211 mb right you can click this and you can in install this like just to give next 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 there is nothing any other process just to give next 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 i have already installed so only it's showing uh, so showing in mm, command prompt so you can download this and install the jdk file uh, i have already installed so i'll give no here right so next uh, so next that is uh, we have installed this version uh, that is Java and next we need to install the tool right there are a lot of tools because what is the purpose of this tool means by using these tools only we can write the programs right by um, Java is used to help us to write that program job uh, that files are there but if you want to write means we need these tools right these tools are used to write the program we can write it in notepad in while interview the interview will told to write us write in notepad only then netbean eclipse j developer uh, rad ibm like that right so i am using most of the people will use uh, eclipse okay wow. So in Eclipse there are lot of version, but I am using Eclipse Photon. The link for this also here. So you can copy the link. Just copy the link. Paste it. Right. You will you'll get a Photon. So here you need to install this one. Right. This one. There is a new version also there. You can use that also. But this is some stable version. I am using this. If you are using uh, Windows Mint, you can use this, right? This is 64 bit and this is 32 bit. You can, uh, if your system is 32 bit, means you can click that. And if your system is 
64 bit, bit means click next one if you are using uh, macbook or linux means you can get that download it from here right um, so i have download downloaded it already so i'll show you the file right this one this file right so this file right um, just uh, extract this you can click here and extract this i have already extracted this one so just to open this you don't need to install right you just click this application automatically it will run right so just uh, right click and create a shortcut in your desktop i have already created it and i'm having that file here right i'm going to just click this eclipse shortcut see i have never installed right i, I will not install because of this only I am using this Eclipse port and you don't need to install but in latest version you need to install the software so just I am giving launch you also just give launch right Eclipse port on will open it will take uh, some time uh, after that only we can able to open so I'll provide the notes uh, in descri description you can take it in next uh, video on well in next video onwards we will write the program okay i'll try to okay now uh, this is the front first page of uh, eclipse it will welcome and uh, next video onwards i'll tell you how to write java program using this tool okay so thank you thank you for watching